We deliver even late in Duluth, Superior, and Cloquet. Right now at 5, Itasca County investigators are trying to figure out what caused a weekend fire at an old Bovee Middle School. Parts of the building collapsed. We'll have the latest. Plus, new developments in the case involving a former Proctor football player who was sexually assaulted after practice. Why the school district is asking a judge to drop a suit filed by the teen's family. And Ian has just been upgraded to hurricane status as parts of Florida brace for its punch. More on a possible evacuation. From the KBJR TV studios, you're watching Northern News Now Today. Well, we're taking a live look at Canal Park this morning right outside of our Northern News Now newsroom at 5 a.m. on this Monday, September 26th. Good morning and happy Monday. I'm Natalie Grant. And I'm Paul Brown. Good to have you with us and welcome to Northern News Now, uh, our new branding, our new uh, look, and of course, uh, something that we'll have to get used to saying uh, yeah. out loud here. Of course, we've been talking about it uh, last week with you, but today is our first day. Yes, it's officially here, Northern News Now. I feel like we've been talking about it forever here, but <laughs> let's turn things over to meteorologist Hunter McCullough to get in on the conversation here, Hunter. It's a very exciting day here oh, it's for super us. super cool. Yeah, Northern News Now, the cool open, all those cool pictures yeah. and things like that. I feel so like I'm in the forest there with those <laughs> beautiful trees Look behind us there. No. Yeah. It's all fancy and stuff this morning. <laughs> I like it. It's, uh, it's going to be very cool now, a very fun day, and a lot of folks put a lot of work into this so mm -hmm. it's uh, it's all good all good stuff yeah. and we'll have more on kind of what this all means throughout the show you'll see more graphics you'll see more different brandings and for we'll, sure. we'll talk more later yeah in the that show. all but, sounds good but first we got to get to weather here oh to my kick gosh off our week. it is going to be cool in the early parts of this week lows in the 20s eventually uh -oh. my gosh it's going to be cool later on <laughs> yes. so there's a lot to talk about here and i'll break all that down in just a little bit right now 43 degrees on top of the hill. We're seeing mostly clear skies in Duluth. Winds out of the northwest at 10 miles per hour. The rest of the Northland, a couple 30s. It's actually fairly mild this morning. 39 in Big Fork, same story in Bemidji. 38 in Walker, 43 in Moose Lake, 47 in Ashland, and 50 degrees in Ironwood with mostly clear to partly cloudy skies. The more cloud coverage is off in the eastern half of the Northland. Yesterday, we saw a high right around average, 64 degrees for a high. 63 was our average high, so we're supposed to be in the low to mid-60s for this time of the year. 0.12 inches. We did see a little bit of rain on top of the hill. Still below average, just a little bit on the month, and well above average, like we're used to here for this year so far, at 2.08 inches. The rest of today, partly cloudy skies, a high of around 57 degrees. Now, there are a couple areas that could see some showers today, and I'll be talking more about that, plus that cool forecast coming up in just a little bit. But for today, today is National Better Breakfast Day. I didn't look to see what that means, so whatever your meaning is, that's what it means. And the question is, what is on your ideal breakfast plate? And mine would have to be, Natalie and Paul, probably steak and eggs mm -hmm. or something like that. Steak and eggs over easy with hash browns and maybe maybe a little bit of uh, like toast, something yeah. like that, cranberry. The, the first thing is the fact that you're bringing this up right now. Yes. Is yeah. Like already I'm hungry. It's, right, <laughs> it's kind of mean, isn't it? <laughs> and now we're all hungry again. But what about you guys? Um, I would say probably Something with the hash browns, eggs with, I like something different for my breakfast too. Yeah. I don't know if there's a go-to option, but I also like fresh fruit on the side too. That's yeah. always fun. See, that's probably what it means is like, what's better for us? Yeah, that makes sense. But, okay, yeah, hash browns, eggs over easy, and what is it? Corned beef hash. Corned beef hash. Oh, the best course. thing on the right. planet. Yeah. So. Oh, so, so anyway, good. Okay, that's awesome. Hungry. Yep. <laughs> All right, thanks, Hunter. You're welcome. Well, new this morning, Tropical Storm Ian has now been upgraded to a Category 1 hurricane. It's headed straight for the west coast of Florida. Ian currently has sustained winds over 74 miles per hour and is likely to become the first major storm to hit the state this year. Florida officials say that they could start issuing evacuation orders as early as today. You may have noticed that things are looking a little different this morning. Today is the first official day of our new branding, Northern News Now. We're joining forces of our two stations, KBGR 6 and CBS 3, to bring you a stronger news product. It's a little bit more convenient with your life and with launching some more new shows here. Yeah. Our schedule looks like now we have our morning show from 5 to 7 here, where yep. you'll catch us on both CBS and NBC. But we'll pop up this graphic here. You can show 
See, yeah, we right. have some new shows that are launching on CBS. You can now catch news there at 4 p.m. and 6.30 p.m. with the one and only Kendall Jarvis. She's back! There we go! For those who, of you who haven't seen on our social media, that's where she'll be at. She'll be there with Dave Anderson at 4 and 6.30. Then we have our regular 5 and 6 o'clock news with Dan and Briggs at um, on NBC there as well. Yeah, the great thing about this is that, of course, we're teaming up with all of our resources on all of these options. And there's so many options now for local news, uh, depending on your schedule and what's going to be convenient for you. So it's, it's, it's a terrific opportunity, and we're really excited about yes. it. Yes. Yep, all of these fun changes, and all, it's all going to be uh, very good in the future here, especially for all of us and all of you, and it's all going to work out really nicely. I feel like we've been keeping a secret for so long. It's going to be nice to Northern, have it all out. Northern Leo. News Now, I have to say, it is rolling off the tongue. Yeah. Exactly. Northern yep. News Now. <laughs> yep. All right. Thanks, guys. Well, coming up in our next half hour, calling all Packers fans. There's a groundbreaking change coming to how you can listen to your games. Plus an update on a sexual assault case that took place months ago. What one school district is asking for and how the family of the victim is responding.